In this video, we will be asking ChatGPT to write us some basic regular expressions for testing in Python language. Regular expressions or regex for short are powerful tool for matching patterns in strings. They can be quite tricky which is why we are going to have some fun asking ChatGPT to write them for us. As a quick overview before we dive into details, we have 5 most commonly used functions in regular expressions among others named as re.compile where re stands for regular expression re.search dot match dot find all and dot split with that out of the way let's jump to chat gpt and start asking okay so our first question to chat gpt is to provide us regex provide us a regex which can match email addresses so let's test it so here i asked it to provide me a regular expression which will match most email addresses and this is the code it gave me let me copy it so i have already added some sample data in excel file let me open it up so here we have some sample data for testing. Column A has some sample email addresses and the second column has some sample social security numbers. Let's close the file and load it in Visual Studio. So import pandas as pd, import re. I provided the temporary location of the file and click on enter. And here we have the sample two columns read in as a pandas data frame. So we have the first column as email addresses and the second column as social security numbers, short as SSN. I already have some pre-written code to load the file and test the codes provided with chat GPT to save time. So now that the file is loaded, let's test out regular expression to match email addresses. So for our first example, we will add the pattern in the variable called pattern and row number in the variable called row number. And then we have a print statement with F strings, which prints actual value of what the row number is. And finally, we print out the actual result of our regular expression, re.findall. So let's add the pattern here, which I'm going to copy from here is a regular expression that will match most email addresses. It also gives us some heads up that it will not match all of the addresses. So if you want something more detailed, we'll have to use a library or API service. Keep in mind that this has to be in double quotes. And you should add R before this as well. Let's put row number one here and let's run it. The row number one has this value email at example.com to click on run. And it prints test string is first name, not last name. So this, this is only printing the actual value from cell one. The value that is here email at example.com so our first line is giving us the actual value which is the test string the second line returns us the matched value using re.findall which is being returned as a list form with only one element in it now let's try row number 14 so i'm just going to change this to 14 run this again and we see that it is printing that test string is printing us the same value but the second value is empty it means that regex has not been able to trace this as a valid email address so it is returning us a blank list let's test another one so for example let's test row number 10 and we can see that it is pulling it correctly as well so email at example dot name is it is creating it as a valid email address let's move on to our next example for this example we asked chat gpt to write regex to match social security numbers so it provided us an example that I will be able to match social security number based on this pattern. It has to be in the same exact pattern. And then it gave us the actual regex for it as well. So let's copy paste it in our code. It also is giving us a disclaimer that the actual SSN format can vary between country regions. So you should adjust accordingly. Let's copy paste this here. In the pattern, we will add R single quotes and then paste the code in it. And for row number, let's say I'm going to add a row here and copy paste this here so we can see the actual data here as well so far so good so let's test out row number one row number zero which is going to be this row for this one i used only one line as a print statement so says test string is this will give us the test string and the second portion will give us the value which it's going to find so it's all in one line you can see it says test string is this and the result value is this which means that it was successfully able to validate this as a social security number let's try this one one and two so Let's try one and you can see the list return return value is blank that means that it's not been able to validate it as a social security number let's try two and this is also blank and the value which we are testing is this means that it has not been able to trace these two as valid ssn numbers chat gpt has told us it will only match social security number which is in exact this format so if you want to test out few different formats you can uh Got the question chat gpt and it will provide you a more detailed regular expression and i would advise you for practice you should do that now let's ask chat gpt to give us a way to split a string value with a space so for example i'm going to ask write a regular expression to extract value before the space like in abc 15 
it should return me ABC. So it has given me the regular expression for it, to which I have asked it to give me an example of how to use it. So let's put it in VS Code and we can see that the code should be working. So let's copy paste this, run it, and we can see that it's printing ABC. If I change this to something like this, it should still work and we can see that it's still working. So, so it also says that you can also use this in a similar way in the languages and it has given us an example how to use in JavaScript and how to use in grep and SCD. Moving on, so I asked it again, how can I apply above to Python data frame column and have it create new column. So it created a full example for me along with a sample data frame for testing. Let's copy and paste it into VS Code and test it. To copy it, go to VS Code, go to a new cell, shift enter and let's see if it has worked. So I'm going to say df new column dot head. Let's test three rows, click on enter and sure enough, it has done it correctly. So if I change this to two columns, just so we can see the actual value as well. And now we can see that uh, it, this was the actual value and this is the return value and it has done it correctly. It also gave us a summarized lambda function with the apply to do it in one line, which are not always easy to read and write for beginners. And it also depends on the personal preference. Some people like things compacted like this, or some people will prefer to have it in a separate function and then use apply to add that function. One last thing I asked it was, can it separate the values? How do I split the text before and after space? Do the separate columns and pandas using data frame? using regex apply function. This is telling me that we can use dot stir dot extract function of pandas to extract multiple columns. So let's copy paste this example and test it in our VS code. Let me copy paste this here. So I'm going to add dot head here. So as soon as this is run, we can see the head of data frame as well. So we can see that it has correctly created two new columns. So if I see the data frame overall, we will be able to see our older column and before and after space and two new columns created as well. So with this example, I'm going to wrap up this video on regex using ChatGPT. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and thank you.